With all this excitement about Apple Glass, I've seen a lot of whiners out there asking, Why is this such a big deal? Who cares about glasses? Why do we want glasses? Well, shut up, okay? You're not here to ask questions. Apple is here to tell us all what we want and how much we're going to pay for it, and we need to blindly agree with them. No, but honestly, off the Apple Sheep record, I genuinely think there's a lot of exciting applications for Apple Glass that not just for commercial use, but also could be really, really fun and useful for day-to-day -day use. So today, I'll be pitching to you a few ideas I have and I'm sure whatever Apple's thinking of because they put way more time and thought into this than I have is probably better than what I can come with so without further ado let's begin <laughs> First off, have you ever thought it would be cool if 3D holograms existed? You know, if data in pixels and screens could not just display themselves on a slab of glass, but also come out of the glass and we could interact with it in real time right in front of us? That's essentially what augmented reality would allow us to do. You know, Star Wars, Star Trek, 3D holograms and stuff like that. It would all be possible if we simply had cheap and well-designed augmented reality glasses, because you could put them on and now as we get better with motion tracking, like we have been with LiDAR and we can see how great that is at masking things out. Tracking objects within our vision in real time, you basically can achieve any kind of 3D hologram. So some of you greedy ones, once again, you're asking, okay, 3D holograms, who cares? Well, it means essentially you can put displays anywhere you want in unlimited fashion. Basically, the only hold up being battery life. I'm not saying everything in today's video will be capable on the first generation of Apple Glass. Similar to the first iPhone, the first Apple Watch, it will more than likely be limited in many ways, but the potential is there in time for it to get better and battery life to improve, pixel density to improve, all that stuff. But with Apple Glass, you could literally, with the snap of your fingers, put a TV on any wall you wanted. Or why even limit it to a wall? You can just suspend a TV in front of you, but you'd have the option of motion tracking it in your environment. So if you want a 100 inch TV to be displayed on your wall, you can just boop, there's TVOS. And maybe they give you a little bit of hand tracking to interact with it, but at the end of the day, they could just let it work with their stupid Siri remote anyway and you could just scroll through all your stuff and now I get it you know everyone in the room wouldn't be able to see it with you but for those lonely people I know there's a lot of you because you're watching my videos you're able to scroll through apps browse YouTube and have as big a screen as you want while you're working on other stuff 3d holograms also have immense potential if the glasses themselves are able to detect and I think this could be really helpful with the ultra wideband chip where your devices are in real time in space so because the iPhone has that ultra wideband chip and it's able to prioritize other devices and understand exactly where they are in the room. I feel like it'd be super possible for you to hold up your iPhone and if you're wearing Apple Glass now, your notifications, the volume indicator, text messages, all that kind of stuff can pop out from behind the phone instead of intruding on whatever content or whatever apps you're using on the phone. Don't you think it would be way more cool if when you were scrolling through Twitter, you didn't get a message that dropped down in front of your tweets and instead the message came came out from behind the phone and popped out from around it, or if your battery was low, or if you changed the volume, you can now have a giant volume indicator alongside the entire length of the phone that's not going to be interrupting whatever content you're watching, whatever music you're listening to, whatever you want to do, I don't know, but the notifications no longer have to cover up the content you're looking at because you have holograms now. So there's a lot of potential there. You could do the same thing with iPads as well. If you want an external monitor for your iPad because you're editing video or you're chasing a drawing and you want to look at two different images at the same time well if you were wearing apple glass and you had an ipad you could just pick up your preview or pick up another photo do picture in picture on the outside of the ipad instead of on the display itself because thanks to lidar and augmented reality apple is getting really really good at tracking things and keeping them in place in real time masking out your hands so they feel like they're really there and because apple glass is going to be rocking lidar that's all going to be theoretically possible now enhancing our own devices experience in providing 3D holograms for them. Like, imagine if when you were using your Mac and you wanted to drag a window somewhere else, you could just drag Safari or your Finder window off the display because Apple Glass would just work seamlessly with Mac OS. So you're like, ah, I got too many windows here. Let me just drag one outside of the display itself. So you just keep dragging Finder and it keeps going off the screen. It would be pretty trippy and it would confuse people. Now that's all really cool, but also all of the augmented reality apps and games we have today 
day, they're kind of dull because, you know, you have to hold your phone up and look at it on the screen, or you have to hold up the iPad while you're looking at this little AR dragon or dog or whatever you're playing with. I think all of these AR games and AR experiences would be way more fun if you didn't have to hold the device. And I'm very, very confident that when Apple Glass launches, whenever that ends up being, all of these AR apps and games will be compatible with them, and now you can play them without having to hold the device. And now you just have holograms in your living room or in your bedroom, wherever you want to be. And I think the gaming potential for this is huge because I can already imagine like horror games getting really, really creative with it, like LiDAR mapping out your house. And before you play the game, they just ask you to walk into every single room and then they have like all of the 3D depth data of your household. And now Freddy or Jason is going to chase you around and they actually know the different rooms and layouts of the household you're in. So things can run behind corners, things can pop out from doorways and they know exactly how to scare you. I think that's just one idea I have, but still, either way, if it was just like a collect the coins type game and like, you're Sonic now and you just have to run around the house and there's little rings everywhere, there's all kinds of gaming applications that could apply if augmented reality glasses actually became available. And because these use cases are very, very flexible between different third-party apps, plastering TVs on the wall or adding external monitors to your Mac at no additional cost, the gaming experiences, also the use cases of Find My. I mean, what's supposed to be somewhat helpful with the ultra wideband chip is that they're apparently going to work with air tags so imagine if you get air tags on your keys or on your wallet or on your bike or something and you're like oh shoot where did that go i can't find it so you ask the glasses to find the keys for you and they just have little arrows that pop up in you know 3d space and they tell you go this way go this way go this way they're in this direction you can just walk around you don't have to be looking at your phone and be looking at some satellite map data trying to figure out where you left your keys because the glasses will just guide you exactly to wherever the air tag is. Or imagine if you were working out and you were on a run or something with your Apple Watch, the Apple Glass would be capable of telling you like in 3D space, hey, this road mark up here and it could put a big finish line in front of you. That's when you hit the one mile mark or that's when you hit the goal you set for yourself when tracking activity rings. So if you run to, you know, this milestone that will be just a big 3D hologram with a big finish line or something and arrows, they're like, if you get to this part, then you close your move ring or you close your exercise ring or or whatever goal you set out for yourself. There's so much potential here that I think could be fun. Obviously, there's a lot of dangerous stuff, like how would the glasses behave if you're in the car? I'm very curious how they're gonna handle that because it's very easy for the software to just detect that you're in a vehicle because you're moving at a high rate of speed. So hopefully the Apple Glass would shut off if you're in a car, but at the same time, you don't want it shutting off if you're a passenger and not the driver. I talked about use cases in the past of being able to overlay turn-by-turn -turn navigation and like highlight the road you're supposed to take or the exit you're supposed to take off. So that might be kind of helpful for driving, but I feel like by the time Apple Glass comes out, more and more cars are going to be capable of driving themselves anyway. So that might be a little bit like adding a speedometer to a horse and buggy, but still, in this very short video, those are some of the use cases I have come up with, and I'd love to hear some of yours, but if none of these things sound very interesting to you, and all of them sound gimmicky, just keep in mind, almost everyone said the Apple Watch was pointless and not worth it when it first came out, and now, number one watch in the world. So, Apple has a good way of making things desirable and adding features and marketing in such ways that people are just sold on items they didn't think they knew they wanted until they saw them. So Apple has that effect on things, so don't underestimate them. I still think they have the ability to do that well into the 2020s. But again, let me know what you guys would want to see in Apple Glass when it comes to features and functionality on my Twitter. Join my Discord. We can chat more about it there. This is your Apple Sheep here. I'll see you in the next one.